Mariana, Manuel, this is the third movie in which you work together. The first two were Mexican films directed by Manolo Caro. What was it like to team up again together and collaborate on your first joint project in English? Uh, it was it was great because um, we had each other to kind of get excited together and share this excitement about uh, this great project and working with Tom and uh, just the magnitude and dimension of the whole experience. We got to share it. We got to um, feel a little bit, a, a little place of home. Yeah. And, uh, and well, I think we continue to strengthen our friendship. And for some reason, we keep bumping into each other. So yeah. that has a nice, a yeah, nice I was, meaning. <laughs> I was really happy as well, you know, and not just because of the friendship and all, but I love working like on uh, on scenes with with Mariana because <laughs> she caught you off guard. Uh -huh. You know what I mean? Like she comes with, she improvises a lot. You know, like you you have to be on top of thing. Like <laughs> it's not like a regular scene. Like you rehearse your thing and then the other actors does the thing and you know. But with Mariana is like she comes in and if, <laughs> and she she because she's in the moment, uh, which is like the ever <laughs> every actor's dream. Like she has this ability to be in the moment. So it's just so fun to, 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 you know, to work with her. And working with the rest of the cast and Tom. Tom, uh, not so much. Ah. <laughs> he's very, very mean. Very mean. <laughs> well, he was definitely grumpy in this film, right? No, no, he's the nicest person ever. ever. Like, like <laughs> What we were saying that the reputation that he has, the nicest guy, guy in Hollywood, like yeah, confirmed yeah, yeah, completely. Yeah. He was so embracing of us. He's the best. And so warm. And he just uh, brought us into the project with so much love, he and Rita. Yeah. And him and Rita. And we're just so grateful for that because it made us feel at home and made us feel at ease to connect and to construct and create together. So yeah. eternally grateful. Yeah, everything was beautiful. Like Mark as well, the director is such an amazing director. And he has like the sensitivity and wow. Tom, and like everything, the energy that we breathe on the on the on the set. It was it was just it was just beautiful. Yeah. Which helped the film, I think. The film producers chose a Mexican family as the co-stars in this film, in the story. Um, why do you think they did it? And do you think that that decision could encourage other producers and creators to incorporate more high-profile Latino characters and storylines in film and television? Definitely. Well, I, I think that the, 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 the choose of the Latino family is because, I mean, I'm, I'm against cliches, but they hold some truth. But uh, there's this thing about Latin families that, that we're very, no like, we, you know, we go for it. And it's like, you you one day said that we're here <laughs> so, it's, you know and and you see that in the film like right away they come in storming with the noise the chaos uh -huh. um and uh so i think that's uh you know that's part, one part of the things that i think they make the family to be latin because you know yeah yeah because because there was so much structure yeah. in the movie in the character voto yeah he had a very set mindset with what he was living and there was like this very rigid he was living in a well and and this family comes in as you say sure with this like there. expansive chaotic but really just pandor and uh and and breaks through these uh these barriers the knock on the door which is like the uh, the basic acting exercise when you go to acting school that you knock on the door and this was like that you come and you knock and you barge into this space, not in an invasive way, but just because you're like, let me in. And that's symbolic of what happens and and uh, from a, an honest, disinterested manner, you know, no gain. We just want to connect and, yeah. and uh, we forget because we live in a very utilitarian time and everybody has to serve a purpose and we have to get something from everyone and everybody has to serve us our needs or our intense and here it's not like that and and that's what i love also about the connection that is just just humans being not, uh, supportive of each other yeah the film covers some difficult topics which ones touched you the most and what do you think is the movie's final message uh i mean me the the touches me a lot is the which we don't think as a society a lot of it it's it's the is the is the fact that 
the loneliness of, of older people, you know, um, you know, we kind of been like, oh, you know, they already live their lives. So that, but uh, there's something that is, uh, you know, the loneliness of it. I, it's just, um, I don't know, it's very sad for me. Um, I, and it's not that Otto is, is, is old, but it's like, you know, it's like, um, it's this, this sense that his life is over kind mm -hmm, of thing, like, mm -hmm. he, you know. Um, nothing to give anymore. Yeah, nothing nothing to, to give, nothing to receive, nothing, you know. Um, and I think the, the message is that, that even in the darkest places, it's a little bit of light will overcast the shadows, you know, so Beautiful, yeah. and, and, and all these characters come together to, to bring that to the darkness, I guess. Yeah, I agree with everything he says, yeah. <laughs> well, thank you very much for sharing uh, this and the best of luck in the next projects. Thank, thank you, you so much. Thank you.